The Stroke Foundation's released new national clinical guidelines for how stroke is treated and managed. It's the most comprehensive review of stroke treatment methods since 2010 and quite a bit has changed. So what are the clinical guidelines? Stroke attacks the brain. It's one of Australia's biggest killers and a leading cause of disability. The latest data shows there's one stroke every nine minutes in Australia. But it can be treated and it can be beaten if patients are able to access high quality treatment fast. The Stroke Foundation's developed the Clinical Guidelines for Stroke Management 2017 to provide evidence-based recommendations for the management of stroke. The new version supersedes the 2010 guidelines. The 2017 Clinical Guidelines aim to strengthen health systems to improve stroke outcomes for patients across the country. How were they revised? Changes to guidelines impact a large number of people across many areas of our health system, so it is vital the process is thorough and based on the best available evidence. An advisory committee oversaw the development process which involved 11 working parties with 99 health experts across 21 various healthcare disciplines. More than 109,000 abstracts were reviewed, that's a 267% increase on 2010 with 800 studies used to develop the guideline recommendations. Overall, 250 recommendations have been made. The guidelines cover the patient journey, from pre-hospital care, such as in the ambulance, early assessment and diagnosis of stroke, acute medical and surgical management, preventing a future stroke, the risk of which is significantly increased following a stroke, post-stroke rehabilitation, how complications arising from stroke are managed, the vital process when patients leave hospital or are transferred to other care services, returning to community life, continuing the recovery journey and patient care needs in the longer term. So what are some of the key changes? Education of GP reception staff in the fast signs of stroke, so they call triple zero immediately at the first sign of stroke. It is no longer recommended to get patients up and moving within 24 hours of stroke onset. However, all stroke patients should be moving within 48 hours. All acute stroke services should implement standard protocols to manage fever, glucose and swallowing difficulties in stroke patients. Managing these early has shown improved outcomes for stroke patients up to four years after their stroke. Endovascular thrombectomy or clot retrieval is now standard care for appropriate patients. We now need to ensure the health system changes to make this treatment accessible to all. The minimum amount of scheduled rehabilitation therapy for stroke survivors is now three hours a day. That's a threefold increase from the previous guidelines. Comprehensive discharge care plans which address the specific needs of the stroke survivor should be developed in conjunction with the patient and carer prior to discharge. This will help equip patients with the tools and support they need to continue their recovery journey and live well after leaving hospital. Driving simulation may be used for stroke survivors needing driving rehabilitation. Health professionals should complete training and education to deliver intervention effectively and appropriately. If you'd like to see the full guidelines, go to informe.org.au. InformMe is a dedicated resource for health professionals to improve the treatment of stroke care. It includes the guidelines, supporting resources, education modules and much more.